Hello, I'm Ehsan. In this video, I want to show how to use ultrasonic sensor HCSR04. At first, go to data sheet and talk about that. Okay, this is the main point uh, and I will show you what happened. This sensor can measure 2 cm until uh, 400 cm or 4 m and is not affected to sunlight or black material is not important the power supply is the 5 volt dc and the quiescent current is uh, under the 2 milliampere and working current and you can see that angle distance uh, ranging distance and resolution measuring degree and uh, trigger input pulse and other so on Okay, the next, this is the sensor I use it. We have four pin here. Uh, at first we have a VCC and then it's trigger and the other one is echo and the other is ground. Last one is ground. And uh, VCC connected to five volts and ground is connected to ground in my micro and we have two pin in here and I will explain what happened to this trigger and echo pin. Next, uh, something I want to show you. This is really important to know about the trigger is uh, the trigger input of sensor, but output of micro. This is really important to know about that. When you have uh, make a project, uh, trigger pin is output for micro, but this trigger is input for off sensor. This is really different, and be careful that somehow it's confusing. We have echo pin. Echo pin is output of sensor uh, and input of, input of micro is really important. And the next part is about uh, production specification and limitation. It's not important. And last one, yeah, op operation in here. We need to 5 volt and at least uh, 10 microsecond for the trigger pin. And we have 8 cycle of uh, ultrasonic burst at 40 kilohertz and uh, the next important thing is here we have three way to uh, measure distance uh, the first one is uh, we have the uh, we have the time and divided to 58 and the second uh, the first one is the centimeter and the second is the distance in inch we have the time and divided to 148 and the last one I use in my project uh, is a speed of sound and uh, this is the speed of sound to uh, meter to second but is changed to uh, uh, centimeter to mi microsecond and I will show uh, the, what the formula of uh, distance I use in my project. Okay, this is the diagram is really important. Uh, this is the poles. Uh, I explained that we, uh, we must uh, produce this pulse for trigger pin and you can see that uh, we have 10 microsecond in here. After that we have the internal pulse in 8 cycle in 40 kilohertz pulse and uh, it's go to the obstacle and go back to echo pin and we have this pin for echo pin. At first we have rising gauge and then we have falling gauge and this uh, pulse it's between 150 microsecond or to uh, 25 millisecond and upper than 25 millisecond is out of the range it's uh, it means we have not obstacle in here and uh, uh, this is uh, important. Please, uh, at first, uh, connect to GNB. After that, uh, power the module. Uh, this is the hardware. It's about Arduino. It's not important. And go to project and make it. Okay, before I uh, make the project with STMQB Mix, I want to show them my circuit. This is my circuit. This is sensor. GND is connected to GND, which is connected to 5 volt, and uh, trigger pin connected to PR9, and echo pin connected to PR8. Uh, go to Cubamix, make the project. Go to access to MC selector. 
then choose your micro F103 RE okay go to system core and go to sys and change the debug to serial wire and go to timer and uh, I use timer one and I will sh uh, explain you uh, why use timer one but uh, you uh, if you want to use another timer uh, it's your project it's not important okay choose the timer one and uh, clock source to internal clock channel one uh, choose the input capture direct mode and finally go to parameter setting uh, for example the pre scale 8 minus 1 it's not important it, it is not different you can uh, put here it's 8 and for example this number is equal to uh, 0 cross f f f f minus y minus 1 it's not important use the everything go to nvfc setting and uh, you can see in the timer one we have capture compare interrupt in separate but other timers don't have this option because i use uh, for this reason i use the timer one and take here okay everything is all right check again uh -huh. go to uh pin configuration and PR9 set as output. Okay, uh, everything is all right. Go to project manager, for example, name it. I name it HC, HC, and choose the KL. This is my file. I want to save my project in here in desktop. After that, Go to generate code, copy only the necessary library file. Everything is all right here, okay? And then generate the code, okay? Open the project, minimize the this window go to application user go to main.c i prepared two libraries here dot c and dot h in here and i put it in my uh, i upload this uh, library and this project on my google drive and if you want to download uh, please message me and i verify you and after that you uh, can download this file okay then cut dot c and go to this project and add to core and inc yes go to core and go to src cut this file and add this here okay go then go to the k and uh, right click here choose the add group and name it for example name it lib here and uh, right click in here add existing file and go to the desktop I save this file to desktop go to HC HC core and SRC and add this file in my project and you can see that I add this file dot C in my project and click here and uh, right click here and go to header file dot h and you can see the dot h file in here let's uh, explain the dot c file in here i uh, define the variable val1 val2 difference first capture is uh, a flag in here and distance is about the measuring distance between the module and the obstacle and if you want to use another timer you can change the number and uh, pay attention to this uh, channel if you use the channel 2, you can change 1 to uh, 2 number or 3, or you can change the 1 to 3 the number. This is my delay function. I write that because I want to produce 10 microseconds for trigger pin. Uh, this is the HC. Uh, I need to uh, write, 
I defined that in HC and you can see the trigger pin is GPIO pin on the line 9 and port A this is it and uh, I uh, at first I set this pin after 10 microsecond I reset this pin and I enable interrupt or input capture here and then uh, this is the function about input capture we need to uh, capture two edge at first uh, rising edge rising edge is saved to val one after that the falling edge as I explain you in data sheet it's saved to uh, input capture val2 and the, the compare in here we have minus uh, and the finally we have distance in here okay and uh, go to main let c and i added some function here i use a notepad because don't have time to write go to includes and add these two file uh, but i say i put it file in google drive and you can download this code in description uh, and go to user begin to and add input capture start it because i enable input capture and go to wire and put uh, to line in here okay let's say better okay uh, everything is all right after that compile this code Zero and zero warming. Go, go to option for target. Go to debug setting, setting flash download. Tick in option reset and run, and then compile again. Okay. Go to debug. If you don't want to LCD, this is enough. And uh, go to that C file and click to distance and add to watch one. Okay. Let's. Try it bigger. Okay, uh, right click in here and uh, omit this option to see this distance. And uh, okay, let's we have two page in here. One of the debug and the other is the road cam. Show you uh, the distance. Run the project and uh, when I get closer to the sensor you can we have decrease and when far away the sensor we have increased the measure again and you can see that in here okay uh, This is the project for uh, module uh, ultrasonic and I try to uh, to the best to you can see the measure and I hope so you can see that measure in my ruler on my board uh, thanks for watching my video thanks for uh, control tech channel channel YouTube and uh, Please subscribe me and bye.